We're almost at the end of January and I'm feeling like my life is a little bit disorganised at the moment. Not everyone feels a desire to be organised and it doesn't make everyone happy but for me it definitely definitely does. So this week I want to try and get on top of things and get my life organised and if you are like me then you might enjoy a little motivation to get your life kind of in order as well. One of the main things I want to do this week is get my room sorted. I really want to put time and energy into my space this week. It's not just about putting away your clothes and you know making your bed which is definitely important but also doing nice little things for your space like getting some flowers for yourself or lighting a candle or getting a new lamp. I feel like for me mood lighting is so important. Another aspect that I've been really enjoying lately is using Notion to organise my life. I can't believe I've only just got on it because I feel like a lot of people knew about it. But I've only recently been put onto it. I used to use my like phone notes app before and I thought it was good and I thought it was like doing everything that I needed to do but Notion has like literally changed my life. I'm not even exaggerating. I've put my template in the description so you can take a look and maybe kind of incorporate it into your own. I split it up into my work and my personal life. But with my personal one, I've just used it to kind of recenter like on my intentions for the month, for the week, as well as putting in some more like detailed things like recipes that I've been enjoying making and life admin, what I wanna watch and read because I usually just store that on my notes as well. And I feel like we set goals for ourselves or we have something that pops into our head of like, oh yeah, I want to do that more this month. And I think writing it down and then seeing it every day is a really good way to integrate that into your life and actually make it happen. And I've also been using a habit tracker, which I've been loving. I don't, who knows how long that will last, but I'm really enjoying it at the moment just to like check in with myself at the end of the day and see if I did all the like basic things that I knew that I really wanted to do. With my work one, it's also just been so useful because I can break down my tasks into like quarters, months, weeks. I can share team spaces with my team and we can assign tasks to each other and share to-do lists. I think the main way that I use it is to-do lists, but honestly, it's in such an elevated way. So I've tried to create a simplified version of my work template as well so that you could use it for your own work. If you run a brand like me or if you do something completely different, I think it might be, it might be quite useful. I'm in my studio. Wednesdays it's just me in here because Tia works from home. So I thought it would be a good day to get my work life organised. And specifically my workspace, I feel like because of my notion, you guys know, I'm like getting on top of, you know, my goals for work and my to-do list and just everything. But my space is looking a little messy and needs some love. So I want to spend some time organising it, moving some stuff around and just making it look nice, to be honest. There is definitely an area that's neglected. I keep all my list of Depop stock in my second studio in this building, and I also have a shipping container where I keep my unlisted stock. But there's a lot of bags of unlisted stock in this room. I don't really know how to condense that right now, but there's some stuff that I can take to my unit, and I just think I can like organize it a bit better. I found these magazines that we did, these zines, 
Oh, that's actually so good. I forgot about these. So we did it from the year 21 to 22 to like sum up our year. It was a really exciting year for us because we did so many things um, for the first time, including like proper shoots and some, this was our first ever like shoot with a photographer um, for the Lindsay shirt, the first release of the Lindsay shirt. It's me, Olivia and Ray. We used to work together. We did a shoot at the v &A, a catalogue of all the products that we've done. We hit 20k sales. And we featured in Vogue, some random tags that we used to use. I feel like it's nice to like keep things like that. I know it's a bit random, but I don't know, they're just like little memories and reminders of how far my brand has come, which makes me really happy. Also got these lighters that we did. I use these religiously. They are literally the best. I just find it really cathartic to go through all this stuff, but I often find it hard to make time for it because there's so many, I like, I have team members, but I still do a lot of different roles myself. And it's hard to make time for stuff that's like less, urgent and less business related but at the same time it's so important to make time to make your space nice basically this was from a sample set that we did with laura adkins which was so fun and we got such a good turnout for that so let me know if you want me to do another one of those <laughs> I've made some good progress today. This area still needs a lot of work, but I'm feeling a lot more organized and honestly for me, tidying a space just puts me in such a good mood. So I'm gonna go to Reforma now. I'm cooking this evening and tomorrow's a new working day. and I should be asleep but I'm really enjoying at the moment spending some time at the end of the day going through my habit tracker just thinking about how the day was seeing if there's anything I want to note down about how I was feeling or what I did or what I didn't manage to do I also go through my to-do list from the day um, tick anything off that I forgot to tick off and then anything that I didn't manage to do, I just add it onto my to-do list for tomorrow. But I'm feeling really organised this week. So I guess this video is working because that's what I wanted to do this week. And I'm finding it easier to do tasks that I've been putting off. Oh god. Um, it's just stuff that I like really have been putting off for ages. I've just been doing it. So I think my plan is working. Tomorrow we're going to do some more organising and then it's the weekend. I'm getting my coil replaced tomorrow and I'm really not looking forward to that. <laughs> so yeah, pray for me, but I'm going to go to bed now, have a nice sleep and wake up feeling refreshed. <laughs> changed my life which I honestly I have been doing it for a while and I literally don't sharp about it to anyone who will listen this is one of the things that keeps me the most organized out of everything is doing a food shop for the week um, in advance I share it with my flatmates we all do it together we plan like meals that we're gonna cook for the week I do it on a cardo 
which I found is way cheaper than going to the supermarket and it also minimizes waste. I always do the order when I'm at home. I'm looking at the fridge and the cupboards, so I'm not repurchasing things that I already have so I can economize in that way. The three of us, we plan like a meal that we're gonna cook each and then we get like breakfast stuff, lunch stuff, snacks, anything like that. And sometimes household stuff too. You reduce waste, you plan ahead of what you're gonna eat. And it also just means that I have like nutritious meals three times a day because I don't have to like, I don't have an empty fridge. I know what I've got in my fridge. I don't need to pop out and get anything. It's honestly the best. I like book the slot a couple of days in advance and we all just look forward to it so much because it just means that our week just has structure. And because I'm really into cooking at the moment, I really look forward to the meal that I'm gonna make as well. So I'm doing the weekly food shop now. Honestly, if I could, if you wanna like feel on top of things, feel organized and plan your week a bit, this is one of the things that I recommend the most. Literally, by far, not sponsored, just love it so much and I would really recommend for you to try it as well. Nothing in this world makes me feel more on top of things than having a lovely Sunday. Every Sunday we go swimming at the Lido. I love spending that time outdoors and also getting some movement in before going for a very overpriced pastry and walking around. Taking that time to do something wholesome really refreshes me and gets me ready for the week. That concludes my organizational video, a topic that's very close to my heart. So if you enjoyed this video, then there are many more to come. I thought I'd just add, like I always do in my videos, that a little discount code for you guys to use on my website. If you wanted to shop any of my pieces, you can use the code YouTube10. It's 10% off, there's no minimum spend, so you can buy as much or as little as you like. And yeah, just as a thank you for being here, for watching my videos, and I really appreciate all of you guys. So thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.